Hi everybody, my name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. And today you're going to see it from a little bit of a different perspective. And I'm going to tell you that um, me and a couple of my friends, we have a motto for this year that done is better than perfect. <laughs> So for me to be able to bring this to you, you are going to see my studio in a done is better than perfect. Because if I wait till it's all the way clean, then you're never you're not gonna see it forever. Because today's the morning before Thanksgiving. So it is um I wanted to be off the day before Thanksgiving because I host Thanksgiving, but I ended up spending um, I worked yesterday morning and then I cleaned a bunch and so um, I thought I would rather not clean full days and cook full days so I divided half and half but my office is going to be in the state it is in now um, I just really have to get it so my nephews I can move this table out of the way and they have some floor space so they can come up and play um, and I also have to hide the ribbon because mm, they, they like to stamp but they really like to play with my ribbon and so I have some retired ribbon uh, I have a separate bedroom because you know we're empty nesters so I have a separate bedroom that houses all of my things that I sell on eBay once they retire and I also buy clearance corner ribbon that way my boys can play with the ribbon my grand nephews and my ne um, my littlest nephew um, my 20 something year old nephew does not 20 28 year old nephew doesn't want to play with my ribbon but the little boys love my ribbon so uh, it's a great thing to stock up from the clearance corner so I'm just gonna give you a quick tour um, I'm also going to record my first how-to on how to use the cut and emboss machine so this kind of ties into that because I had told you that I would show you some storage solutions for the dies so let's get going just ignore it's not like it's most certainly not dirty but I don't have time to clean it all the way because you know it can't it you know let's face it unless you're taking photos of your studio is it ever really clean all the way because it's always in a state of flux and some of this stuff I don't want to pick up all the way because I just have to get them back out on Monday to start working on a few of the other things and I'll show you a couple of them as we get going so let's take a whiz around my studio so really because this is a how-to I want to show you a couple of and see that is a done is better than perfect my blocks are put up but not perfectly but I wanted to give you some of the things that I find helpful so this is just a fun little storage thing it sits next to my guillotine this is not the guillotine that I use this is if I'm doing a small class or if I'm doing camp or something smaller then if I'm doing card club which is lots of you or especially like if we do my try it or my retreat I have a heavy duty that I don't even know how to use um, paper cutter downstairs and we, my husband cuts it all but we need all of this space downstairs so this cuts more paper than just my paper trimmer if I'm just stamping myself I'll show you where that is but when I do for camp and stuff you know you end up with all the scraps so those go immediately into here and because my husband likes to come in like when he gets home from work and sometimes he'll help me you know if you have kids and they want to help they don't know all of our colors but he can tell you know if it's purple or it's green and then that way if I'm sitting here and I'm creating I can just reach over and I'm thinking oh, I want to use a red or a pink so all of my scraps are in here because I think the thing that makes our spaces the most cluttered is having stacks of paper and I'll show you where they um, where they end up before they're in here and then when it gets filled he kind of fills them up my daughter does it I can do it while I'm on the phone so you know so it doesn't have to be in our 48 colors you don't need 48 folders but I got I'll put all of the links most of this stuff came from Amazon because if I go to an office supply store I'll spend way more money than I need to spend um, so I got the holders from Amazon and then I got the white folders just because I didn't want one more color or especially an ugly color to be interfering with this so you can see they're just all in there um, so that way I don't have to keep up getting up and going over to where my full sheets of paper are and it's a nice way to put just anything from a half sheet on down so that's where that is and then if you create projects you can see this has already gone out and this is done and ready to be put up but this was last month's card club so when I start because I'm doing five or six things at a time sometimes so I have five of these trays they're just from Target but they will hold a project not doing so well in holding this is the one I really didn't want to put up because I'll work on that on Monday so that is my um, gingerbread class and then this is where I'm kind of working on the how-to for the uh, die cut then Stampin' Up just sent us 
some free paper holders and you can see again done better than perfect this is an old cheese container from australia that we brought i bought an antique store when i lived there so but they sent us three different sizes i'll show you the other two in a minute so i just have my white my shimmer white and my vanilla in there just a small package and usually my paper trimmer is in there my little one. So that's the one I can just use for cutting small things when I'm sitting here. Then these are very similar to what Stampin' Up! offers. I don't have the Stampin' Up! storage system. I will link it because if you have a smaller space and um, you want everything on your table with you, which I think is the way to go, um, except when you do this for a job, you could sit at your table all day. Not healthy. You need to get up and move. So I'll show you in a second. My stamp pads are actually over there. Um, but my husband built me this blend holder before we sold one. So I will link the one that's very, very similar that Stampin' Up! sells because it's great to have your blends right there. And then I have this little tray here that I got at Home Goods, um, and it keeps just a few of the smaller things that would get lost someplace else. My girlfriend got me this, I think, for Christmas last year. She got us those. Maybe Valentine's Day. I don't know. We find each reasons to give each other gifts all the time. It's perfect for glue dots in one. And then the other one, I cut these all up. If you do my classes, you know you often get them, your embellishments cut on little things like that. So when it gets down to the end, then I just keep all of mine in there. I keep my... There's one of my last videos. Um, I keep... When I'm working on a class, like here's different dies. So this would be the gingerbread dies and I keep them in there until I'm done. So I don't have to keep going back and getting them. But I'm gonna show you a better die solution because if you're not doing classes, you don't need that. Then I love this thing here. I don't know exactly what it's for. I think probably a phone, but it is, again, it's not all the way put up and those should probably go because otherwise my nephews will probably want to play with those. Um, but it, this section right here holds our skinnier, ones and sometimes it looks really pretty today it doesn't look really pretty um but it holds the little perfect size for our little circle embellishments and then our other embellishments and then those then in this one right here i keep all of the strips of white especially after you're done cutting a class if you're a demonstrator because you know if you cut card club and you have this whole strip of extras you don't want to throw away all of those i could use them on another class um, cause I now have like 60 of them, or I guess I would have like 85 of them cut this size. So you don't want to throw away 85 of the same strip of white. So I got that. And then again, this is from home goods. So it just sits on the table, um, and you can keep all of your things where you can get to them. Then this is a jewelry holder. And I looked, I don't, I don't like, I'm not a fan of the I have my heater on I just realized I should probably turn it off you can probably hear it I'm not a fan of the leopard on the bottom but I had gotten a couple of different jewelry holders it's hard to find one that's thin enough here that your ribbon can fit the, on the spool but this is mostly current mini catalog and then the ones I'm in love with from the annual catalog so when I saw it I wish I could take this off um, although I do, uh, if you see my clothes, you know I love leopard. Now here is, well, this is also Christmas cards that I'm working on. So, you know, my own personal Christmas cards. So it's kind of a mishmash, but that is where it's a, it's a tray down there. See the tray? Um, but that's where I put the paper before it goes. Now here is, if you just are an individual person or if you do smaller classes, I take these down to my... Um, when I have camps in my home and that's where we put the dies that we're going to use it's also where I tend to put the dies from you can see that those are a lot of the um, current mini catalog dies so I got them uh, we have a grocery store called Meyer. it's you know a grocery it's like one of the giant stores that sells everything so it has it came with one side was maybe chalkboard and one side was a whiteboard and then I just bought eight and a half by eleven self-adhesive magnet sheets off of Amazon and I just put them on there and then that way you see they just fold flat so they don't have to be here but I like them because then I can have um, whatever current mini ones are on ones I'm working with right at my disposal because sometimes then you can mix and match when they get put back in their stamp case or when they get put back with um you know, in their container, then you don't think about, oh, this would also work well with that. Then this is the way that I use 
you can see there's a lot of shapes on this one. I have a lot of dies. And even when you see all of the dies that I have on magnets, I still probably have um, 15 sets that haven't made it anywhere. See here, some of my done is better than perfect. <laughs> but um, this I got from Michaels and this holds all of my 12 by 12 paper. Well, not all of it, but you know, most of it. I have excess papers everywhere. But this is at least one pack of all of our 12 by 12 paper. And I'll show you the thing that I really, really, really love are these clear 12 by 12s. So every time we get new papers, then I can put, like this is Blackberry Beauty, and it saves your paper from getting damaged. And then I can just slide it back in here in these clear 12 by 12s. And because they're clear and they're a hard plastic, because sometimes I used to have them and they were kind of flimsy and they didn't last very long and they were pricey. These are about the same price and I've had them for a couple of years. Um, but because you can see the paper, there's no need to like put labels or anything. And I love to make me a good label, but you don't have to. So I have that. And then again, those self-adhesive things, I just stuck on that. Up here, I can keep my cut and emboss when I'm working in my table. Whoops, if I move this, it's on wheels. It comes on wheels. Um, and I can move it over here. If I move it now, then all of my little um, past class, I always make a couple of extra class kits, and often when people join my team, they get one of those, but they're stacked there, and I'm afraid if I move it, they're all gonna fall. Um, and here's some more of the trays that as I start working on a project, that way I can just move it out of the way. That's my goal. Sometimes I get pileys. And then over here is where I have scraps and I do use labels for this, um, of the designer series paper. So they're 12 by 12 trays. These came from the container store. I've had them for years, so I don't even know if they still make them. But this way, it, it saves my smaller pieces of designer series paper so I don't have to throw them out. And then I just put them on with clear labels. And then you can, because I hate to throw that out. And then I get overwhelmed, overrun with cards, upon cards, upon cards, upon cards. So I have lots of cards. Then this here, um, my husband built me, and that's is what everybody's jealous about. Um, this will have to be taken care of because if my nephew see the ribbon, they'll know that's where it's hiding. So the bottom down here is all like 3D projects that I have no place to put them. Um, but you open this. I didn't shut it all the way because, you know, doing a camera with one hand. So there is one side, and you can see here's ribbon and glues. It used to be very well organized, and now, because what I get changes so often. So here we got some more dies, and this was my mom's entertainment center back when, you know, when TVs were large. So you could probably, if you have somebody who would build this for you, you could probably pick up one pretty cheap because nobody needs it for their TV anymore. Well, here, I'm going to show you this area so then I can... Um, open the door and move it so my guillotine and everything in here every few years we repaint and I just do it with current in colors this was a purple that's um, not in color anymore but okay so I have this my husband likes large t computer screens he's an IT person so I have one very large computer screen and I have this really fun keyboard for those of you that have longer nails um, it's designed so your nails go in between and don't hit the wrong button. How cool is that? Plus it's super pretty um, and it makes old typewriter noises. So if you're my age and you miss typewriters, then I love my keyboard, but I really like, because as my nails would get really long, then sometimes it was kind of a pain to type. So I have this and then I've always wanted a Mac because when you photo edit, um, I thought it would be easy, but I'm having a really, 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 really hard time learning how to use it. <coughs> so it just kind of sits there. I haven't used it much at all. Um, hardly at all at all um, it's a goal it will be a goal for 2021 then here's a couple of the other things that Stampin' Up! sent the little the little pencil case um, and then this one that holds 12 by 12 paper I don't have I have so much 12 by 12 paper that it's kind of worthless so they also like to send us notebooks upon notebooks upon notebooks upon notebooks we got lots of notebooks from them so i've just kind of started filling it up with notebooks and then also over here um this is actually december of 2021 rifle paper company i don't buy paper from anybody else but um rifle paper company my phone is that my tennis shoes are that my watch 
band is that? Um, I love Rival pa Paper Company, but I don't really buy their paper because I like our paper. Um, but December of 2021 is up because, you know, it's not 2020 or 2022 yet. Um, so I'll, I'll flip it when January comes, but that's the Baltic. So if you're a demonstrator, you know, that's where our next trip is. So it just is a little bit of inspiration. I may take it off. This whole wall is undergoing a transformation. My husband just redid these two. Again, they're Rifle Paper Company and obviously Australia because that's where he and my daughter was born there. So we lived there before long time. That's where we met. And then I used to live in Scotland. So those are Rifle Paper Company. And I think there's very similar ones in here of that. But I'm, as of the end of November, I'm getting close to halfway to earning the cruise. So super excited about that. And then um, I took all of my pens off of what they were in. And I, ha I my mom gave me a frame, but that's a project to go there. <clears throat> haven't done that. So now that my chair is out of the way, I can open that. So, you know, if you know how to figure out a map, when it, I know everybody says it's super easy, I don't think it's super easy. So we have this, and then you can see as you open it up, I'll open this side first. Not super easy to do with one hand. I may have to put my phone down because they kind of have to open. Yeah, I'm going to put this down and I'll edit that part out. Okay, you really have to do that at the same time because otherwise they hit each other. So once you open it, you can see the two ends of the things that were inside house some more dies but don't you wait don't you worry there's more of them coming um so then as you flip these around i have my inks arranged and again this is a very similar this my husband built this before stampin up had a storage system um but a very similar concept to what they have so i have the the um ink pad and then the refill and then here i have taken a marker case or you can use an old catalog and I just cut the names out and then I just glued them and um, we are going to we have a winter project me and my girlfriends and we're going to print the little colors out on a Cricut and then put those on there so back in the day when I did lots of in-person classes which I very rarely do in-person classes um, a retreat is on the horizon and something for my demonstrators as well which I used to do huge demonstrator things um, I needed lots of stamp pads and I had three sets of the old ones and over time I've just mostly given them away because we can't sell them if they're a current color so then you open this up got punches and this was designed to hold all of our Biggs dies. When we had Biggs, di Biggs dies, don't have those anymore. So that just has plates and refills. Um, and it was funny when my husband designed it, like this was the area for the punches. And you know, he brings it all up and installs it all. And I'm like, where do the rest of my punches go? And he's like, well, how many punches do you have? <laughs> So, you know, on a good day, we may have way more punches than they think that we might have. So in here, this used to be my 12 by 12 paper storage. Okay, keep in mind when he built this, I was working full time and this was something I did in person with my demonstrators and my local customers. So I, I have transitioned, this got everything into one Almost everything I needed would be in here, except for my stamps back then. So it's kind of, you know, it is what you needed at the time. So all of my 12 by 12 paper did fit in that, does not work anymore. And then here's all my paper. Um, I just did card club. So the some of these took a hit, because when you're cutting that many of any one color, it can take a thing. So here, again, my heater's going. Um, or I, I only have my current stamp sets in here. So that is what I own that's current. Up here is always, as I accumulate the thank you gifts that are gonna go out, as I start accumulating the gingerbread class stuff that I have, I just ordered the full class yesterday, then it goes up there, which I hate. I like to be able to look over into my family room, which I would show you, except it's a Thanksgiving. We have to move all of our furnitures out to put tables in, so it doesn't look like it normally does. Um, but I like to be able to look over, but for now, when I get a class, it just all goes there. It stacks up so I can count it all and make sure I have everything I need. So let's, here when I do a live, this is my wall. And normally this is where I have um, all of the cards that you send me. 
So if I do a live or I do where you can see me, that's um, where you can see the cards. I did replace that earlier in this week because those are mine from when I was a child and they just make me Thanksgiving happy. And then this is a little glitter squirrel. My girlfriend gave us all those. So when we're together at any of our houses, if we, if somebody gets a glitter squirrel, we can throw them. They squeak. They're, she's literally a glitter squirrel, but it's a squeaky one as well. And then I have over here, this is obviously an antique card cabinet. So originally, again, when I was not working from home, it was, or doing this full time, it was a great place to store your things. Not such a great place to store the things. And my husband thinks it would be fabulous because I open all the drawers. I have to open all the drawers to find anything. Um, he thinks it would look great with labels. I think it would look messy. So it does have stuff. It has the craft stuff that you buy. Um, and sometimes I open a drawer and I'm like, oh, I never use this. So sometimes it's a, a hidden project that I don't know is in there, which is kind of fun. But um, it, this is the holding area as I start getting new stuff. So here is all of the new stamps that I'll start working with. And it makes it easy for me to just look up here and say, oh, these are the new things. New papers, um, new dyes, new embellishments. Look how beautiful these are. So that's what I'll start working with as we get into the week after Thanksgiving. And then these are my current um, folders. And I love this. It's an old fashioned letter holder and it used to sit on the table because it makes me happy. But it made me happy and it also um, took up precious table space. So it eventually had to move up here. When we are not in the midst of a new catalog and this is clean, then I turn it this way and it can make me happy. So that's just kind of a little bit my goal is on Fridays to try to close that to like when I close this up, I've kind of closed up shop, but again, doesn't always happen. It is what it is. Oh, and one last thing for those of you who are demonstrators who think that you have to have super fancy equipment or you can't do this. My lights, I'll, I'll mark them. They came from Amazon and they were $25. This little thing right here, um, my husband screwed onto this wood piece that he built. So I don't have a tripod. People ask me all the time what kind of a tripod I have. And sometimes I wish that I had a tripod because it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it works. And it's literally just wood that he bolted to the table. Um, so I do have, as time has gone on, I have a better microphone, which I only use if I'm doing YouTube and Facebook Live at the same time, which is maybe four or five times a year. I just found my niche and I like YouTube. So that's, that tends to be where I go, but you don't need the fancy things. I don't have a camera. I use my phone. Um, and I have my, the, the lights have gone up. They were $25 when I bought them. And the reason I bought lights back then was because I worked full time. So when I filmed, it was always, it was always evening and it was usually dark because in the summer I would rather be outside. So by the time it was filming time, it was dark. So don't think that you have to invest. A lot of money it doesn't take a lot of money um, this table was um, an antique work table oh and one last little storage thing before I quit that um, was not a farmhouse table my husband I just had him um, we cut these lines into it and then we painted it white and I know in my videos you see I stamp on it I hit it um, it gets all kinds of gouges and then he just brings his sander up he'll do it sometime over Christmas when I'm not filming and he'll just sand it back and um, paint it whitey and mostly this part where I work because it was in my grandma's family and they used it for a work table and I love that I have been able to carry on the tradition it's got beautiful legs um, but you know the farmhouse look was in and so I just had him add those lines with the saw then here's another thing if you have a thing that you use for work then just make it work for you so I had him add some little pegs so I can hang both my heat tool is hanging there and my cutters there because this thing takes up precious table space, but it's got the hook. It comes with the hook so you can hang it. So I, he just added that. Then he also added the hooks. So all of my cords, cause you know, we all have the cords. So all my cords are hanging under the table. They're on the back side of that. So they're not on the table. They just all hang on the one power strip that's down there. There's my cat's water bowl. So you probably hear that when it gets empty, it sounds like a waterfall. You may hear that sometimes in my video. So that's today's how to, if you have any questions ask, because I may have whizzed by something and you're like, Oh, what was that? Um, some of it's just, it was a mess. Um, I will try to link most of the stuff 
but a lot of it I've had for a while. And if I can find the link for Amazon, I will put it on the blog post that goes with this. If you're watching on YouTube, you need to go scroll under this video and then the link to the blog post will be there. Everybody have a great day. Bye.